As Olimba enters Kamuti's territory, she makes her presence known. As well as sound, she's using smell, scraping the ground with the scent glands in her hind paws. Olimba's approach is bad news for Kamuti. A rival female leopard is a serious threat. Kamuti has held her hunting grounds for more than 10 years. But that could be about to change. Kamuti's got to act fast. She immediately sets off on patrol, laying claim to her territory with her scent. She rubs her head on important landmarks. Her sebaceous glands release an oily secretion, a chemical signature that will stay here for up to five days. This is an important spot for Kamuti. It's her favorite lookout. Just for good measure, she also sprays it with urine infused with secretions from her anal glands. A clear sign that tells intruders, in no uncertain terms, to keep out. Kamuti must hold on to her territory. Her life depends on it. Olimba, the young contender, is now inside Kamuti's territory and is making herself very much at home. She's trying to get some rest, but the noisy residents are disturbing her peace. Swainson's Franklin. For such a small bird, they have a big voice. Olimba's not impressed. A tree squirrel has spotted her. It's the final straw. She gives up any idea of sleep and moves on. This is more like it. A clearing teeming with antelope. It's just the hunting ground that Olimba needs. But the scent on this tree tells her this patch is already taken. It's 
one of the trees that Kamuti marked. And it's covered with vital information. Just by smelling her scent, Olimba can tell that Kamuti is female, elderly, and was here very recently. Olimba now knows she is the younger and fitter of the two leopards and that she has a good chance of winning this land for herself. further proof that this territory belongs to someone else. She's found Kamuti's larder. A muscular body and short, powerful legs give Olimba the perfect balance of strength and agility. It's a dead puku. Leopards have been known to drag carcasses three times their weight into a tree. It's the one place they know a lion or hyena can't steal it. But instead of eating the puku, she only sniffs it. Kamuti must have stashed it here a long time ago. The meat has gone off. Olimba may be hungry, but she's not desperate enough to eat rancid meat. Olimba lays down her own marker. It's a clear message for Kamuti and a declaration of war. <laughs> <laughs> 